The napkin ring pictured in the following figure is to be resilvered. How many square millimeters must be covered? So our answer, they're expected to be in millimeters, so change the centimeters to millimeters first. Convert all measurements to the same unit, and for this problem, they want millimeters. 2 centimeters equals 20 millimeters. Now we could find the surface area. The surface area consists of the area of this ring plus the area of this ring plus the lateral area of the big cylinder, the outer cylinder, and the lateral area of the inner cylinder. Let's find the area of the rings first. So notice the rings are made of two circles. In order to find this area, the ring area, find the area of the big circle and subtract the area of the smallest circle and they'll leave behind the ring area. So for the larger circle, the radius is 22 millimeters. So replace the R with 22 millimeters. For the smaller circle, the radius is 20 millimeters, so replace the R with 20 millimeters. After simplifying, these are their respective areas, one for the big circle and one for the smaller circle. Now subtract the smaller from the big, the smaller from the big, and they'll leave you the ring area. So the ring area is this subtraction, that would give you one ring. But since there are two rings, one in the top and one in the bottom, multiply times two. And this would be the total ring area, 168 pi square millimeters. Now let's find the lateral areas of the two cylinders. Find the lateral areas for the inside cylinder and for the outside cylinder. Notice this is lateral area. So it's this formula. This is lateral area for the cylinder. These are cylinders. So that would be the formula. So supply the R and the H for each of these cylinders. So this is the bigger cylinder has a radius of 22 millimeters and the smaller one has a radius of 20 millimeters. Run in through these formulas and you get these two lateral areas. Then add them up. And this would be the total contribution of the lateral areas for the big cylinder and the small cylinder. Now the total surface area would be the two rings area and the two cylinder areas, which gives you a grand total of 1,848 pi square millimeters.